for another match between uh, the Guilford College Quakers and uh, the Meredith College Avenging Angels. So Mary Moody leads off early with the kill. Avenging Angels. Now having the right ball placement there, Quakers pull out a point as Whitley comes up for the serve. And the ball falls on Avenging Angels' side. Quakers pull out another point. And French was able to get a nice soft pass there. Quakers have evened it up. <laughs> and Mary Moody, once again, quick reaction, swift ball placement. And I'm sorry, uh, Cole Paul did get that kill. Along with another double block attempt, uh, Cole Paul and Gunn uh, actually get two points there. Uh, it's a 13-11 game. The vicious serve that was. Uh, surprisingly, there was someone there for the Avenging Angels on that side. Uh, and the pass over by Lende. And Moody goes again for the pass over. And it falls. And it falls on the Avenging Angels side. Chris goes up to serve. And the service ace there was made by Crisco, making it a 3-2 game in favor of the Quakers. And hopefully the Quakers are trying to make a repeat of the last set. And that makes it a 4-2 game as the Avenging Angels are not able to get the ball back over the net. Pass over by Emma Gunn. And the deflection sends the volleyball soaring <laughs> up here in the broadcasting bleachers. And a service ace there. From Cole Paul. <laughs> Moody and Gunner racking up on their attempts. And it is a ferocious battle for that last point as Emma Gunn into her area. Uh, let it drop once again. 2 4 game. I'm sorry, 4 2 game in favor of the Avenging Angels. And Whitley quickly. It's deflected. And Whitley answering with a kill of her own. Could not be deflected. 4-4 game. Oh, yeah. And Brittany DeCesare is still ever vigilant. Still out there battling. Nice pass over there. Laura Copal <laughs> responding with a kill of her own. Quakers still have the lead. And the Cesare goes up for the kill. And it drops. It drops to no answer there. And that makes it a 25-16 game. Wrapping up these three sets. Quakers take it 3-0.